In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to create a custom layout using templates. And we'll begin from the WordPress dashboard. We'll go to Appearance, then Custom Layouts. And once we're in Custom Layouts, we are going to click on Add New. We have three options. Let's select Templates. Let's select a type. And we'll start with Archives. Now let's call it News. And we'll click on Create Custom Layout. Now we need to select an archive template. So we'll click on this plus in the top left hand corner and we'll choose patterns. We'll click on explore. Now let's choose Neve patterns. And now all we need to do is select a template. So for now, we only have three archive templates. I'm going to choose the first one. And right away, we can see this post type dynamic value from order, which automatically displays the post type in the header. So we'll go ahead and customize this quickly. I'll just remove this description block. And for the heading, I'll add another dynamic value. Let's go ahead and go to dynamic value for the data type. I will scroll down to select uh, archive title and I'll click on apply. And now I'm just going to click outside of this block. And on the right, I'll go to custom layout settings. Now under conditional logic, let's select archive term is equal to news. So basically this will only be applied to the news category. So at this point, you can always go ahead and make additional changes if you need to. You can change colors, font sizes, you can add additional dynamic links or dynamic values if you need to. Or maybe you want to do something as simple as centering your pagination control. In my case, I'll actually do this. I'll just put this in the center. And since I'm done, I'll go ahead and publish the custom layout. And I'm going to right click on this W over on the left. I'll open it in a new tab and let's go to the post categories. Now let's view the news category and here's the archive layout that we just customized. So now we can go ahead and check out the single post. We're going to close this tab and we're going to go back from here. Let's also add a new custom layout. We'll go to templates, then single post. Let's also name this single post, create custom layout. And once again, we'll click on this plus we'll go to patterns, explore, Neve patterns, this time we are going to scroll down and these are our single post templates. Let's use this one. And now we are going to go ahead and customize it. So I think I'm going to remove the author image. I'm going to click on it. And in the toolbar, I'll click on remove image. And we also have a bunch of spacers here that I'm going to remove. I'm going to remove this one first and I'll remove this one as well. Okay. And I think so far that looks good. I'm also going to remove this block with the social icons, but in your case, you may decide to keep it or you can also just reposition it, but I'll remove it instead. And finally, I'm going to remove this last spacer and I think that looks fine. So I'm going to publish this custom layout. And once again, I'm going to open the website in a new tab. So let's just um, right click on this W, open in a new tab. Now let's visit the site. Now from this page, we'll go to news. And we'll just open any blog post. So here we have our single post layout, but it's also under Neve's default single post header. And that means the post title is being displayed twice. It's up here and here as well. To fix this, we'll need to go to the customizer, then layout, then single post, and we'll change the header layout back to normal. Okay, so we can see that it's gone. At this point, we can click on publish. And that's it. So I hope you found this video helpful. If it was, drop a like, comment, and subscribe to see more videos like this one. Thank you for watching and see you next time.